we grow up in our gaming life, we start off with Nintendo games. Well, most of us did anyway. Then we moved on to the Super Nintendo. After the Super Nintendo, we have things like the PlayStation, the Game Boy, the PlayStation 2, the PSP, the DS, and every other game console out there. So I ask you this, gamers. When it comes to your gaming life, how do you even begin to pick your your favorites, let alone your top 25 favorites? Well, that's what, what we're going to do this month. Is I'm going to take you on a journey, and you'll be able to discover my top 25 video games. Well, I should say my top 25 most memorable video games of all time, and why. Hello guys, it's Burl, and we're here with day 19. And, uh, I cannot have a game list of memorable games without putting this game onto the list. And you can probably see up there in the upper right hand corner, this game is Gauntlet. Now this is the original Gauntlet for the Nintendo. I don't think I still have this original... Um, Nintendo game, but I do have this on, um, it was like a Midway Arcade Classic, something like that. I have, I have it on the PS2, so I can play it anytime I want to. So, um, yeah, I can always go back and play this game. But, why is this game on my, on my list, you might ask? Well, um, this is a game that I played a lot with my siblings when we were all kids. Um, it's kind of funny because you could play, well you could have, in the arcade you could have like four, up to four players I believe. Um, but on this, on the Nintendo of course you can only have two. But the funny thing is that, like I said, I'd play with my siblings and usually it was my brother and one of us. But my brother would always pick like the elf and the elf is always um, faster than anybody else. So no matter who we picked, and we usually pick like the wizard or the Valkyrie and like he would always leave us behind and, be and like especially on the levels where there's um, teleporters. Like, he would always be so fast running around teleporting and then we would get stuck because our characters are slower and trying to figure out where exactly uh, he was going or where he went. So we would get stuck and he'd always get mad at us because uh, we were like behind. But it wasn't our fault because Elf is so fast. He like walks so fast. There's nothing you can do to really help that. So, um, yeah, we had lots of fun fun with uh, this game, for sure. And uh, I just remember my brother would always get mad. So, if you don't know the basics about Gauntlet, you pick one of four um, uh, class characters to play as. You can play as the warrior, the valkyrie, the wizard, or the elf. And they each kind of have their own attacks and stats and whatnot. And the whole point is, is you want to try to survive and get as far as you can. So you have your attack, as you can see the wizard here attacking. Um, and you'll lose health if things hit you, as you just saw again. You can collect treasure, you can collect keys, you can, um, you, you really, uh, your whole point is you want to get to the exit. And you can see right there the little black box in the lower left hand corner that says exit. And that's where you want to get to, that's like your ultimate goal for each level is to get to that exit. And as you are playing, in addition to the enemies hitting you and you losing health, um, your health will just naturally tick down until you are at zero. And the kind of, I don't know, ridiculous sort of part of this game is, or maybe more memorable I don't know maybe a little of both but the little there's like a little announcer dude or narrator or whatever like a little yeah you know, like an announcer dude and he's like oh Valkyrie found food wizard 
found a potion. The wizard shot the potion. Um, and when you're about to die, they tell you, like, oh, Red Wizard is about to die. And, um, I know in, like, the old Gauntlet, I don't, I don't know if the second one did it too, but, like, it would always play this weird music when you were about to die. I, I don't know what it was trying to, like, simulate. Maybe, a heartbeat or something. But it would always say, oh, Red Wizard is about to die. And I actually played the, um, the Nintendo 64 version of Gauntlet. Um, do I still have that game? I don't remember. I might actually still have that game. I don't remember the name of it or this, oh, they called it Gauntlet Legends, I think, for the Nintendo 64. It's kind of interesting to see, like, how they brought this like traditional 2D gauntlet game and made it into like a 3D world slash universe. And they gave each character, well first of all they had way more characters uh, than they did in the original gauntlet because like I said there's only four you could choose in the original gauntlet. But for Gauntlet uh, Legends they had way more characters and you could unlock more characters uh, by getting through certain p parts of the game. And they also had special power-ups to uh, defeat gates and whatnot. And they had special items that they could get. And if you got your character to level... Oh, what was it? I forget what it was. You might have, have had to just use points or something, but... But, um... You could get a halo and in this game I didn't mention but I guess I'll mention it now in this game there are like black reapers and those things will like drain your health when they touch you like constantly drain your health until they're gone and there's no way to kill them with like your normal weapon you have to use potions in order to kill them and most of the time potions are limited and I think you can only hold like nine so if you find more potions, you can't hold them. You kind of have to use them. Oh, there's a reaper right there. Yeah, he will constantly drain your health until you kill him with a potion. And if you don't have a potion, you're just out of luck unless you can somehow maneuver yourself around them. But yeah, in Gauntlet Legends, uh, there's like a halo item you can get. And not only will those little reapers turn away from you, but you can actually suck the life out of them and kill them, which is freaking awesome. No, don't kill the wizard. He needs to survive. No! Get the potion! Get the potion. Go. Run away. Okay, I guess he's just going to run away and not use the potion. Why would you not use the potion? Anyway, so yeah, um, gauntlet. Oh, they call him Death. I guess he's just called Death in this game. Um, anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this Day 19 video where Gauntlet uh, takes a special place, special memories with this game. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for Day 20. We're getting so close. Bye guys.